about nine for 15 from beyond the arc to start this year for Charlie Moore. McCaffrey, that's Connor, feeds Ryan Creener in for the flush. Catches a break, and here's a nice feed from McCaffrey to Creener. Drives the lane, draws the help. Charlie Moore. If you're Iowa, you knew that this DePaul team was not going to shoot 63%. Creener goes right around the edge and a foul to go along with it. Simple two-man basketball working in pairs out of the stacks there. And if it wasn't for Creener. Getting more and more confidence in playing time. Wies Camp with it now. Luca Garza from the outside splashes that one home. Oral Roberts, the turnover in Iowa, a chance to make it a double-digit game as both Ryan Creener and Jordan Bohannon check in as Nunji and Frederick will have a seat. Uh, it would be their coach, and they had Dom, who got drafted, a 6'8 shooter. So it's a good league. Bohannon, a tough follow-away three right in front of the Golden Eagles bench. She knocks it down. And uh, Evelyn, a little slow in getting back to his man. He gave a little help, but you can't leave your man so far as if the ball gets reversed. Hard time guarding the ball, and if you can't guard the ball, it just breaks down everything defensively, Mike. Another pass here inside, it's Garza trying to get going, and he does with the basket and the foul. Basket, and he just forces himself right through the hands, pump fake, pump fake, and power. In the other way, to the freshman Toussaint in the lane. And he gets the roll! Creates his own lane, goes in, takes the hit. What? How did that find its way in? One of those guys is going to have to step up in this second half and knock in some open shots, but North Florida does a great job of taking that away. Oh, Wieskamp with the alley-oop from Frederick. If the baseline is the weak spot against the zone, then attack the baseline with the lob. Joe Wieskamp, Muscatine's finest. Great call by the Iowa coaching staff. Frederick's open again. He likes it. Garza finds Nunji in the lane. Catches the ball inside, and you have to know where the double's coming from. It's coming from the baseline. Frederick is feeling it. I mean, oh. feel it. <laughs> but just a little too late. Sometimes better, great offense beats great defense, and C.J. Frederick. Welcome to Iowa City. And pulled in by Edwards. And then in pass intercepted that time by C.J. Frederick on the other end. Fourth turnover for Texas Tech. Ball hand in the trailer. Can't leave him open. Free to shoot, Holyfield's all over him. McCaffrey, deep three. Oh, he did he call it off the window or no? It doesn't matter. Or no, doesn't matter. <laughs> Shot clock winding down, Connor McCaffrey. That's when you know it's your night. <laughs> gobble, gobble. Getting his first run of the evening. Bohannon on Pulliam. Garza for three. Garza hitting everything. He's coming in, Toussaint's coming in. Here's Garza on the offensive end. Yeah, not only do you have to worry about him down. Michigan by one. Frederick, high off the window. That's a beautiful sweeping jump hook in the lane. Stars are really pressing the issue, isn't he? Well, but I, I love the mindset behind Fran McCaffrey, what he's doing early. I really like you to be polite when you block a shot. Six to shoot. Iowa not getting much going. McCaffrey step back three. That falls. Well, another possession where really stagnant offense. Gophers will go back to work. Here's Carr driving inside and backs it out. Trey Williams rejected. Joe Wieskamp to the other end. Wieskamp <laughs> with the hammer. Look at Wieskamp going end to end. It's a BTN standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance. This is the Joe Wieskamp at the start of the year we expected to see. A two-way player getting it done. How about the bounce right here? Takes off from far outside. Toussaint goes cross court. And they feed Luca Garza, and it continues to keep working. He's got 10. Anytime Luca Garza has a defender on his back, really not even a, a duck in, it's just he's got position. The defender, if you're Hugo Obanik, 10 years at Iowa. 
Came over from Valparaiso, but started his collegiate career at Nebraska. Now off the steal, numbers to set to pencil. When your mouth you talk. Nice pass from Pencil to Kramer and the five. The drive and the left hand dish. Brian Kramer has shown a lot today. I'm not sure that that's not Toussaint's game. Cheatham has his pocket pick. Pass tipped ahead to Toussaint. Cam Mack. Stepping in, nice two-on-one break by Iowa. If, oh. nope, and a follow by Morcel. Nope, Garza's in there to block it away into the hands of Wieskamp. Among some of the other youngsters that they have on this roster. The alley-oop to Wieskamp. Little Wheezy shows up again along the baseline. There's Garza with his first rebound. Mathis knew that was off and forced him to get his hand on it. So fast, a freshman. Nice job by Ron Harper, Jr. Guy that doesn't get a whole lot of play nationally is Frederick. Knocks down the triple. Oh, this young man, Frederick, really developed over the last year. 8-0 run for the Hawkeyes. Morcel, Garza got a piece. Iowa on the run. Wees camp, no. Brown wanted the foul against Cobra. Frederick, a deep three. That's good for C.J. Frederick. One of 19 in the first half. Just could not find the range whatsoever. Offensive rebound for Joe Wieskamp. He'll take it right to the rack. Five seconds remaining until halftime. Frederick forcing up the three. And it falls! C.J. Frederick. Long. He goes on an up fake. Gets Kavass off his feet, but leans in. Keeps the follow through up. C.J. Frederick. What a boost for the Hawkeyes as they really struggled down the stretch offensively. C.J. Frederick. Hoosiers have been really good on this end of the court. Toussaint. Here's Creener. Shot clock at two. Creener, nice move across the lane. Finish on the die. Just a fantastic cut by Ryan Creener, and then Ohio State discombobulated. Joe Toussaint, how about that? And one. He may hear about that later, we'll see. Well, Iowa's energy is just a different level right now from Ohio State. He's had a strange season, you know, getting, got suspended, has gone through some struggles, at times has looked like one of the best perimeter players. Oh, Wieskamp! Maybe on a night where Joe Wieskamp hasn't had it shooting the ball from the perimeter, this is an effective way to get it done. And E.J. Liddell, welcome to Carver Hawkeye Arena. Dread in there for the rebound. Era running the break, but it's picked out of his hands by Joe Toussaint. But to be a freshman, Joe Toussaint does that as well as any player in the conference. Lees can't get him organized for a three. <laughs> Great job of Hera running the floor, but Toussaint. Toussaint so quick with the basketball, too. Ryan Treater likes the matchup against Brockington. Who's with this? I tell you what, Penn State's doing an excellent job right now defending Garza. Oh, and Garza doing a pretty good job defending Stevens. To defend inside out. Just one of five behind the arc for Purdue. Again, they hit 19 in the first meeting. Here's Frederick for three. His leading score, but watch what he does here. He turns, faces, and then you see that little move there by Frederick. That got him into the peripheral vision of Garza. Purdue, you need to be cognizant of that and not give a foul on a dribble drive with the shot clock under four. We can got it. First two points of the game for Joe Wieskamp. For the double team, it didn't come. Put his shoulder in and spun away from pressure. Coburn right back to work against Kreener. Garza there to help pin it against the glass. 84% in that winning effort in Iowa City. Tip of the cap to Kipper Nichols as Garza inside gets an easy two. He leaves in his first start of the year on senior night with six first half points. <laughs> Oh,